so small, dude. We're so tiny. We're like half an A13. It's funny that this thing is like kind of small, but it's also, I guess, like junky in a way. It's kind of like a fat toddler with a cannon on it. Is that offensive? I'm not sure. Look at him, though. It's, I don't know. There's something really adorable about a tetrarch. Oh my god. There's a lot of things here. Oh, he did a hit at least. What's this thing's engine? Not there. Get away from me, Stumbanza. Okay, we got his gunner at least. Right, right, his breach is out. Oh no, something's coming through the wall. Go away. Stop it. It's a 20 mil boy as well. <gasps> a fellow tiny boy. I feel so adorable, but like, deadly. Oh god, no. I might die. Okay. This is the only time it's access acceptable to kill tankettes. Like, this thing steers really weird. No! Get away, dude. Wow. Well, we survived. Oh, oh god, what the hell? Kill me. Oh, did, did, wait, he shot me through the wall. It's actually really hard to these alternate. I kind of wish that... They just fired. Oh, together. Oh. Yeah, we're on fire. I can't expect that to happen. Hello, Panzer 2. Oh, I killed something. <laughs> I'm all still alive. Good day, old boy, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at the Tetrarch Mark 1. Now, I had some absolutely incredible games in this little guy, and also in the Swordfish Mark 2. I've threatened to do a Tetrarch video for quite a little while now, and there's a reason for it. It just kind of bumbles its way around the battlefield and seems to do really well. And honestly, when you look at this thing's armor values and what it has, it doesn't really sum up that good. At our thickest, we have 16 millimeters of armor. Most machine guns will go through here. And of course, most conventional rounds will as well. We get absolutely bullied by German 20mm and it doesn't take very much to set this thing ablaze or just knock your crew out in general. There's only three of us inside the tank. And we're very cramped in here as well. Not even enough room for a kettle. So little room that our brewing facilities are on the outside of the tank. However, what we lack in armor and survivability, we have everywhere else. Check out this APC-BC round. Almost 90 millimeters of penetration flat on, and at 100 meters we can go through 67 millimeters of armor at a 30 degree slope. And Gaijin have conveniently added us a little APHE shell. It only has 20 grams TNT equivalent, so it's not really that good. But we have a shoulder stabilizer, and negative 15 degrees gun elevation. We have 165 horsepower, and we only weigh seven and a half tons. So we're very speedy. We're pretty mobile, but the way this thing puts the power down, it's really difficult to handle. It locks up one track, much like the BT-7 does, so you have to be really careful when you're steering it around the battlefield to make sure you don't turn too much, or you don't turn at all. Turret rotation speed is pretty slow as well, it's 7 degrees a second, so you really have to nail down your tank driving skills. We also get two smokes, which are pretty handy as well. So for a reserve tank, light tank, this thing is actually very good. Now, moving on to our aircraft. This is the Swordfish Mark II. Now, I cannot express how much I hate flying this thing. It feels like you've got really bad atrophy. If you were to imagine trying to steer a dying goldfish, that's basically what the Swordfish feels like. However, it does have eight RP3s which fire individually, so your damage potential is actually pretty high in ground RB. For offensive armament, we have a single Vickers machine gun, possibly the worst machine gun in the game for an aircraft, and we also have one that points backwards too. But this plane is so derpy, when you actually do something well, it feels really good. Okay, let's tally ho. Okay, new challenge. My headset has died, and it's only playing audio through my right ear. So, we have... <laughs> this happened like three years ago. My poor Astros. I like them too, They're like three years old now. 
Yeah, I had this horrible buzzing sound in my left ear, so I've just had to cut the channel. It's so painful. Just hearing a constant buzz. So, this is how we play now. <laughs> this is going to be really awkward. I just saw a tree fall down. Right, we are going full artillery here. I'm going to try to get up on this little plateau. See what we can see. I'd really like to get five kills in this little thing. I think it's possible. Oh, enemy. Oh, you hit one. And another. <gasps> Devil machine. Okay, horizontals out. That's going to make it very difficult for him to shoot me back. Got another one. Crit. Driver loader on him. No gunner though, I don't think. There we go. There's one. <gasps> no, not that one. The comment section will be very upset if I shoot him. Why are you not dead though? There he goes. Oh no. We've been flanked. Where is this 140-1 though? Oh my god, look at these guys. And the loader. Engine please. Get him wiggle. Okay, we got him. Right, I think that's three. Two more. Where are you? Death machine. There he is. Something's close by. There he is. Okay. Transmission's out. Dead. Where's the 140? He's running. Yes! Right, we're kind of in the long grass a little bit. I'm gonna get shot in the back, but I need to move. What is... Oh no. Oh god. Please, listen. If you get angry in the comments, that's okay. I will take it. Right? Absolutely fine. I deserve your hate. <laughs> oh Christ. No, I missed him. I'm going to get bullied so hard. My loader's dead. Hold on. Wait. Okay, gunner machine gunner. One more shot. I hate you, dude, so much. Stupid puma. Yes, thank you, teammate. Okay, that thing being dead makes up for it. Wait, the enemy are on the cap. No! A Panzerjäger. I missed him. Oh, god damn it, dude. It's so twitchy to drive this little thing. It locks his track up. <laughs> and it's nice that it kind of does that, but at the same time, like, it's nice and slow. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, yeet, all the way around. Spins you like a lunatic. This guy says, Jesus, on boss, that's just harsh. Yeah, it was. It definitely was. I'm really sorry. God, we're missing half of our tickets already. It's so hard to play without your audio. Damn, dude. I need to be able to hear. I've got boomer eyes and now I've got one boomer ear. Right, it's taken us 10 minutes. The game is almost over. Just in the time it's taken us to fly here. And the game hasn't been on that long. Five minutes. It's, oh, we got guys on the cab. Nice. Okay. This is fine. Just gotta take our time. No happy. But that's the guy who said... <laughs> that's the guy who was like pointing out that I come out of the war crime. That's okay though. He's got every right. So, there's a... Oh, there's a lot of things shooting at me right now. Right, this guy claiming the hill. Yes! I killed something with this thing. Oh, careful, dude. Right, something is definitely mad at us. A couple of things, actually. Oh, God. German 20 mils are so omnipurpose, it's crazy. Get get away. Right, long ball. Nearly. Yeah, we got him. Another one. Same tank. Yes! No, he got me! Can I get one more? Yes! Yes! Okay, I hated this plane, but now I love this plane. Even with one ear, I'm unstoppable. I'm just kidding. I'm very stoppable. 
We are gonna lose this though. Do we have someone near the cap? We'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, we got one tank destroyer really close. SPG. I'm gonna imagine that's probably an M3 gun carriage or something. Let's try and help Happy. Hold on. On me, dude. He looks like he's doing okay, unless this other aircraft turns up. Well, the other aircraft is not interested. This guy. Bring him up, dude. Bring him up. It's a HE 112. Come on, Gladio. Yes! You got him. Right, one more plane. Oh, the game is over. Imagine, though. Imagine. Okay, Kuban. Not a good map for me. I mean, we've had a couple of good games, I think, in this map. In a Tetrarch, we kind of need a little bit of armor for these long-range engagements. And our turret is pretty big compared to the rest of our tank. They're flying across here, though. I like to get somewhere high up so we can peek backwards and forwards, rather than look over a defilade. That'd be nice. Like I said, though, we got mad gun depression. So being high up's really advantageous. Let's see actually. Let's go up to this little bunker. We're gonna get a ton of enemies on our right. I don't see anything out here. I heard something fire though. I don't think anything is coming. You'd be sorely mistaken though. Oops. That was quite a fall. Something's <gasps> coming around the corner. Come on, dead truck. We'll fall down. Oh no, we're in trouble. Done. There's two. Just back up slowly. Something is behind me on the hill too. God, it steers so funny, this little tank. Almost worse than the BT-7, I would say. Just because it's got a really square profile. I can hear things up here. Look over the other side. Okay. Can see the enemy's turret. There's an M2A2 coming up behind them. Look at this. Get him, dude. Stuck in a tank trap. I tried to shoot his engine out. There we go. He's stuck now. Something is going on down here. Oh. A lot is going on down here. A squeezy boy. War crime. Yeah, yeah, back up. Yes. Ha 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 Right. Is this enemy still up there though? Right, this, this other tank down here is well aware of my existence now. <laughs> the Panzer Jäger. Where are you going? I'll follow you. Is that a bad guy? No, it's a rock. 
There's a plane coming. I kind of want to drop down on this guy, but I know it will be probably my death. Oh, look at this dude. No, don't look at me. Is that an IKV? I think it might be. He got his engine out, so he can't turn and face me anymore. There we go. Oh no! Shh. Okay, we somehow survived. Stop. Oh, that's a 20 mil. Is that a Bess? No. The squeezy's pushing, I think. Okay, one dead. That AT's watching. He's got a shoulder stab as well, he missed. Oh, I missed. Dead. Okay, one of them's coming up the hill towards me. Oh no, ow! Oh, he's far. Okay. I think we're kind of safe here, but my breach is out. They're dropping artillery on me now. We've been an absolute pest over here. I'm fairly sure we've upset somebody. One, one more second. Something over near B. Can I see him? He's further over. He's actually on B. Right, where is the guy who shot at me? There's a squeezy boy still around somewhere as well. Oh, damn, dude. We bounced a shot. There's no way. Oh, he got me too. Oh, we've read out his gunner. <laughs> ah, nice. We got rooted out. Seven kills, though. I'm kind of happy with that. Wow, what was that shot? Okay, swordfish. Over there's Nimrod. Shoots this aircraft down. Enemies on A. So I take us ages to get over here. Okay, that STRV that killed me is dead. Get him, Nimrod. He's struggling to catch this thing, whatever it is. It's so hard to play this game. Like, just looking at things visually, you really need to hear. Oh, nice. He got him. B-17. The Sweden boy. It's a pretty good little bomber, honestly, for ground RB. It does its job. I'm struggling to find anything to shoot at right now. Teammates have hit this two people over here, three people over here. Well, two now, one of them just died. This guy's kind of in a snipey spot right now. He might have bagged up. I landed pretty close. Oh, yes. Swordfish OP. Okay, we got a crit on the other guy. Go away, dude. Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm so dead. We can't we can't dogfight in this thing. Not at all. God, these rockets are so hard to aim. We got another one. I need some help. I need some help, boys. They're gonna it's gonna kill me. Where is he? He's right behind me too. Get away, dude! Go away! I crit his engine. He's maneuvering. A pilot snipe is the next thing. No, I... Okay, I can't shoot him anymore. Oh, there we go. We got him destroyed. Pull up, pull up. No, we're on fire. Oh, we survived. <laughs> Ten kills. Listen, I think Gaijin are determined to make everyone play this map because we've had it so often, like the past, you know, over the whole weekend, actually. Do this map, like, 50% of the time, probably. They, they really want us to play it. There's a damn little Mark II coming. Really, boy? Let's go, dude. You got a conga line coming. I don't actually know where I'm going. Just this direction, roughly. Oh, that's a cliff. I'm sure the crew will be fine. <laughs> See everyone else pour over this hill. Well, be careful. There you go, he's fine. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Wonder how many other steep hills we can drive off of. I think we just drive in a straight line until we see something. 
or something sees us oh like that it's coming up this way he died Not quite figured out where we're going yet. Seems pretty good up here. Can I shield it? Not a good shot. Neither was that. All we're doing is damaging his hull. There's quite a few bad guys down on the left side though. <laughs> Teammates. With the radio commands. Oh. The shield is off, dude. Oh, there's somebody in front of me. <gasps> Please don't be any mills. No, it's not. It's a 38T. Bonk. I'd like to get his breach though. There we go. We well, drove forward. ILVT. Oh, okay. Whatever you say. This valley is full of them. The team's on the A cap now. I think we should try and get to this little house. You get up to speed very fast in this thing, dude. It's pretty nippy. Friendly coming. Looks like we've got them all surrounded. that sort of tunnel thing. Oh, someone died to my right. I hear an enemy coming. Did he see me though? Nope. No, he did not. Oh, damn. I hear a 20 mil boy. Look at this guy. He's so close, this 20 mil guy is right next to me somewhere. I don't, oh god. No. Not that thing, please. I want a better shot on him. In the open. Am I scouted? I don't think I am. That's the shot I want. Yeah, turn and face me. Engine? Something's close to me. I hear engine noise for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where though? There he is. Can I shoot through this barn? I don't think I can. He sees my exhaust smoke. Side scrape? <gasps> Didn't know. He had no idea. Commander. I'm in a really like recognizable spot. Yeah, I was waiting on that. Like people know this little building so that they know exactly where to flank me, etc. <laughs> I was just waiting on it. There we go. Oof. The 20 mils, dude. <laughs> Everywhere. Nice fishing time. We did okay. Attention, I would say. Death Truck's a really nice tank, actually. It's just the gun handling and the actual tank handling is definitely janky. 
Oh, slime ball here is RTB. There's an enemy aircraft up. I don't know if I should just ignore the enemy aircraft. To the oh. Tell this guy there's a plane and see if he wants to turn around. Maybe the 20 mil boy and he's run out. There's an I-15 there. I'm going to take my time a little bit. Let this guy catch up. Saul. I'm definitely not ready for a dogfight with this thing. Let me tell you. Right, he should get in front of us. And then we should be able to attack him at the same time. He is shooting at him already. Must be a newer player. Okay, we are going to have to take the reins on this, I think. It's a sticker, though. Oh, yeah, he blew himself up. Well, <laughs> we should be fine. That is another flag pans up, if not the same one that killed me. I can kind of see him. Like, here. dead. Time 94. That one's dead too. And there's another SPAA firing. Several of them. Oh, we might be dead. Oh, we're okay for now. He's kind of disappeared because of the way Kuban's terrain mesh works. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh, we, we need to stop this. They're pushing the cab, actually. Okay, I got him crit, so... He's on fire and his track is out. Although, this guy is going to get on the cab and that's going to cause us problems. Ugh. Okay, well, he's not there anymore. <laughs> right. We gotta be like... What's the word I'm looking for? Hand-to-hand -hand combat with RP3s. I need some speed, though. See if we can get some back. We'll come back for this Japanese thing. That was a... Uh, Definitely a main gun that fired at me. Three rockets left. Okay, we got a right wing, a left wing, and a right wing left. And no, this isn't... I'm not talking about the elections. Right, there he is. Enemy spotted. That's a Doe 17. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy hit me if he can. No, he's dead. All right. He was definitely gonna give it a shot, though. For sure. It's this. Oh, what is this? No, I didn't kill him. Ugh! Okay, it was just a gear leg. But okay. AC 130 time. He's looking at me. Yes! <laughs> Friendly got him. Okay, what is going on with my plane? Maybe the gear legs being missing is going to help us a little bit. Yeah, he blew a tire off one as well. So, well, we're not landing anymore. Thought that I was planning on doing that anyway. Ah, I found you. Oh, we are so dead here. For sure. Surely. Right, we're going vertical. Let's go, Sardi. Yes! Yes! Uh, we're such a, a stelling example of a teammate right now. Right, this guy is going towards the cat. Our team is just playing capture the flag and they're not actually going for the objective. I would try and land on the cat, but that's not an option anymore. And we need to be intact in order to decap. What's this? Panzer 38. I'm literally doing nothing to that. Oh. There's the wreckage of a fury. Or a furry, I like to call him. We got one Sweden boy going towards the cab zone. Hold on. Let me ping this real quick.
Get him, dude. Slimebot's a really good player. He's on like 12. 15 kills he has. Holy damn, dude. Can't do anything to this guy. Can we... I, I doubt we can even land either. There's one enemy left and it's the guy on the A cap. This. I can't believe my wheel is missing. Actually, we might have one wheel. We actually might have one wheel. There's no, uh, there's no shame in trying, right? <laughs> that didn't work out so good. The boys are alive, though. All three. You just look like that Jamaican Bob said team from Cool Runnings now. Right, that guy's now dead. On the A cap. And that was the last dude. He can probably respawn if he wanted to. Probably wouldn't be a great idea. He's waiting on his buddy Adam. Or as Adam is waiting on him. Yeah. Okay, GG. Another one. So there is the tiny glidey boy. The weaponized, squished, drunk toddler with a two pounder cannon. I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of fun to play. Definitely less survivable than a Stuart or something like that. And not really the same firepower as a BT-5, but uh, just as fun nonetheless. However, the real surprise came with the Swordfish mod too. I didn't think I would do very well on it. I thought I would be lucky to even get a killer game, but we did really effective work with this thing. And like I said, the goofy flight model makes it rewarding when you do actually do something well. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Cheerio, much love, and bye bye